What's going on guys? Welcome to another recipe video. If you are like me and enjoy dosas, you are going to love this video. Today we're going to be making a high protein multigrain dosa, which not only is healthier and obviously higher in protein than the normal dosa, but tastes just as great. And also we're going to be super saining this recipe just like what we did with the upma. If you haven't watched that video, down in the description guys but we're gonna be powering up this dosa by adding peanut chutney in the side. Each serving of this delicious recipe is gonna have 24 grams of protein and literally no oil, as we don't wanna overdo the fats because we're gonna be getting our healthy fats from the peanuts. Now let's move on to the ingredients of this recipe. Now all the ingredients and proportions mentioned here is for a serving size of two, but if you wanna cut that down to one, then you would chop all the proportions by half. And for the calories and the macronutrient breakdown, each serving of this recipe is a total of 425 calories. And the macronutrient breakdown is 48 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat, and 24 grams of protein. With that, let's jump into the recipe. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna be doing here is soaking the green moong, tur dal, chana dal, and rice together in water overnight or for at least four to five hours. Here, I soaked mine for about five hours. After soaking it, blend it with green chilies, cumin seeds, hing, ginger, and a little bit of water. Blend that up into a fine paste till you get a consistency like this. Now what you're gonna do is shift the batter to a bowl and add some salt and mix well. Now let's move that aside and start working on the chutney because we wanna make sure everything is ready when the dosas are hot and crispy. So for the peanut chutney, what you wanna do is you wanna first roast the peanuts. Then into a grinder, add the roasted peanuts, green chilies, curry leaves, cilantro, garlic, and a little bit of tamarind. I use tamarind water made by dissolving tamarind paste in water. Now blend this up until the chutney is smooth by adding some water and salt for taste. At this point, it should look something like this. Transfer that into a bowl and your peanut chutney is ready. It's now time to make the dosa. Take a tawa, heat on medium flame, spray some cooking spray to ensure that the dosa does not stick onto the tawa. Add the batter onto the tawa and spread it into a thin round layer. Cook till it becomes crispy. You could drizzle a little bit of oil around the edges just on the first one if the dosa is sticking onto the pan or if you're finding it difficult to flip it. But once you flip it a couple of times and it's crispy, fold it in half and there you go. Try this recipe out guys, even without the oil on the dosa or the tarka in the chutney, this healthier option will taste just as good. Like I say, add meals like this into your diet and it won't even feel like you're dieting. 